Hello, my name is Annette from Gundermann and & Druck and today I want to introduce you to our new cross-display switching function. The function is available for the products Trade Switch, DVI Center and in the future for the CAT and the Neo as well. Let's take a closer look. We've got an installation, for example, like this one here. We've got four computers running with four different screens, where I can do my different tasks. Take a closer look to the screen on the bottom on the left side. I'm working here, I start doing my tasks, opening my windows and as soon as I finish, I actually want to switch over to the other screen, the screen on top. But if you take a closer look at here, I can't get out of this window. It seems like the mouse is trapped. Intuitively, I would try to move on the other screen, but I can't get out. The LED is flashing, so that means I'm still working on this one here. To switch over to the screen and to the computer on top, I would actually use a hotkey. And you can see my mouse is running on top here. I can open the window and start doing my tasks here. Now the cross display function is activated. As you can see, I'm still working on the computer on the bottom here. The LED indicates the computer that is active. I do my tasks here and as soon as I finish my work, I want to switch over to the computer on top and I no longer need to use the hotkey for that. I can just move my mouse to the upper screen, see the LED and indicates that I work here and I can do my tasks and whatever I have to do. I can easily switch over to the other screen as well and no longer need to do the hotkey switching. That makes it pretty easy for me to work just on the screen that I need to use. But how does the system know how I want to work and how my monitors are placed? Well, the system actually does what I tell it to do. If we take a look at the configuration system, everything comes clear. We're here in the web interface of the DVI Center. Configuration is done easily by placing the screens the way I physically place the monitors on my desk. Let's say we move the first screen on top here, put the second one on the bottom, third one on the top again and the last one on the bottom. And that's exactly the way like we arrange the monitors on the desk. All in all, operation becomes much easier by using the cross display function. Well, if you've got a complex installation where you've got a high number of computers and a high number of monitors, you no longer need to remember a high number of hotkeys because you can just switch over from one computer to the other by moving the mouse and that makes work much easier.